Hey everybody, Bill Hunt here, coming at you from the Lebanon Valley Mall again. Uh, the reason that I'm here a second time is because Cry Wolf performed here at the Lebanon Valley Mall at the Street Fair. This was one of our first shows. In fact, I believe it was our it was our third show. Yeah, it was our third show, and that took place the second weekend of June 1988. And this was a huge deal, like I talked about before. If you grew up in Lebanon, the street fair was one of the biggest things that, that happened in the town of Lebanon every year. So to be able to perform here was a huge thing. And it really reminds me of how awesome our shows were in the beginning of that band. Because our first show was the Rockathon in front of hundreds of people. Our second show was at the Votech in front of hundreds of people. And then our third show was here at the street fair in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. And then we performed at Coleman's Park on the 4th of July to probably a thousand people. It was, it was really incredible. So anyway, uh, we were very honored to play here. And to my knowledge, I think we were the last rock band to ever play at the street fair. Uh, I can't say that for sure, but I think we were. Um, after this year that we performed here, they moved the street fair to uh, Coleman's Park area. So I was really glad we were able to perform here because just easier parking and I think a lot more people would come came to this venue than they did when it got moved. So the song that we're going to talk about today is the song called I'm Sorry, which is one of my favorite songs. Uh, it was written in, in the Cry Wolf period. It was... Uh, written right after the Votech show and uh, here at the street fair was the premiere of that song it was the first time it was played live unfortunately we did not videotape that night uh, but we did videotape at the Coleman's Park show which was the next show so that's the the version that you're going to see of I'm sorry was live from Coleman's Park the song musically and lyrically was very inspired by Dio, particularly the song Rock and Roll Children. Uh, that same kind of energy, it started off slow, uh, which Rock and Roll Children didn't, but it started off slow, but then it had that same kind of groove to it. Uh, and lyrically, it was about uh, runaways. It was about a, a guy that ran away from home and lived on the street. Um, kind of like Rock and Roll Children. So that's where the inspiration came from that. I was listening to a lot of Dio at the time and really was influenced by that. Uh, it was one of my favorite songs to play live. It had a great energy to it. Cry Wolf played this song right up until the end of the band, I believe. Uh, when Cry Wolf broke up, the Boardwalk Knights did not perform it. It was dropped from the set, I believe. But it was actually brought back in the early version of Runaway Train, the first version of Runaway Train, did perform I'm Sorry, uh, I believe a few times, but definitely at the original Sportsman's Bar in Hazleton we performed it. Uh, but anyway, that is the story behind I'm Sorry, and I will see you all again real soon. Thank you for checking out my channel, and as always, God bless you all. Don't understand